smoking vast destruction, it's going to be an earthquake. You know, mind you, the Bible says there's going to be a hole open in the ground that's going to be open for eternity. It's going to be open through the thousand years reign of peace. It's going to be open for eternity right where Babylon sits. So as he's explaining all these things, earthquake is the easy way to open the ground. Okay, and the Bible says the smoke of it's going to usher up upward into the heavens forever and ever and ever. So as we are studying all these things, all of them go hand in hand. When you can get the timeline down. So now as God's explaining this, realize this destruction is still here. Okay? It's right at the end. Okay. Literal babbling goes down right close to the end. Now we're going to read. It's not going to be right square at the end. How do we know that? Armageddon has to come. Yeah. Something else. We've read it before, but we're going to read it again. I'm just checking memory again. <laughs> what was the question again, Logan? Okay. How do we know that the destruction of literal Babylon is at least a short period of time before the finality of the close? Remember reading Jeremiah chapter 50 and 51 and Ezekiel chapter 13 and a few other places that I took you? I must not have been here. <laughs> <laughs> it says this. It says in, in the 18th chapter of Revelation where we are, it says they'll weep and mourn and not comprehend its destruction. And it's all the kings of the earth and all the nations and all that are around. So if it was the battle of Megiddo had already come and gone and it was totally at the end, that would not have been stated because it would already have been gone, see? So it's making this statement like the Bible says, with wisdom we can understand. I We've read that in two different places. It says, in the time of the end, they that have wisdom, let them what? Understand. Okay, understand. So as we're going through these, I'm simply <clears throat> working at helping you understand what God was meaning by stating in the last days they with wisdom will be able to understand what God is stating. Okay, So the destruction of Babylon is going to come somewhere close, yes I agree, to the totality of the very end but it won't be at the very, very end, okay? <clears throat> we know that the close of the three and a half years that totally shuts it out will be the Battle of Megiddo, Megiddo, okay? Why do we know that? We have read that. Why do we know it's the close of the seven years? Yep. The Bible says so. Okay, but what is the statement that makes it clear? <laughs> Jesus comes. <laughs> uh, that is that. Well, I'll, we're going to accept that as part. What is the major portion of it that makes it clear? Hmm? He's done. He's wiped out then. He he's spending his rest of, he's spending the rest of his time frame 
in Gehenna at this time. There's a statement, and you'll you're gonna you know you just it's back to getting it logged so you can put the timelines together. Nope. This one's found this one's found in Ezekiel and this one's found in Jeremiah. Okay. It says how we know that the very last entity is the battle of Megiddo is that day will be as oh. no other day. And when that day begins, it'll neither be light nor dark, and this is God's words, and that day will last until the battle is over, and how you know it's the very last entity the instant God says, that's it, the battle's done, the day springs forth, and it'll be seven times brighter than today's day, and night will be as today's day. That's how you know. Okay. That's back to timelines again. That's back to being able to place the timelines together. Can you say that one more time? <clears throat> okay. It's a little confusing for me. <laughs> no, that's all right. That's also in the last chapter of Malachi, too, right? Yes, sir. Yeah, a lot yep. of it. Yeah. And, when you're saying it's going to be brighter than today's day, like with, uh, there, today is pretty bright, it already hurts your, your eyes. Won't dim things. But it does say it won't. Yeah. The heat of the sun won't. It won't anymore. touch your skin no yeah. more. No more damage from ultraviolet rays. No more damage from the things that damage today. Part of the curse. Part of the curse. The main part of the reason why it's like that is because the sun is no longer the light. The sun is the light. The sun is the light. Yeah. Yeah. We'll have the sun. We'll have both. But it will be no longer the curse. Yeah. Yeah. Charlotte had a question. I was just going to say because of the darkness is being removed. Yeah. So of course if darkness is gone it's going to be brighter. Satan's gone. That's the darkness. When 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 God supposedly and you know, this one always tickles me. I listen to people on the news. I I listen to wretched be wretched itself the other evening. <laughs> the, there's a there's a program on our television Angel Network <laughs> called Wretched. And most of the time, it's pretty good. And it's pretty well on. Well, the other night, Wretched was Wretched. <laughs> they were way offline. Way, way offline. But when God came to put man on the face of the earth, the Bible says the earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep. Is that not what it says? Okay. That's, that's what it says. Okay, so when God returned on the light, if you want to do that, say it in that manner, pull the switch and the sun shine through the darkness, <clears throat> basically, he, what he had done is put... Lucifer on the outside of the garden and it's established once again light terminology wise because the darkness was not because the sun was shut off <laughs> because the sun was shining the darkness was is because Lucifer the prince of darkness was banned to hear. Okay? And so as we're studying the plan of God and we're looking at it, all of these things are apart. Okay? So what you're talking about, the curse that fell on man covered a way multitude more areas than we ever think. Until you study. Okay? Your skin wouldn't have gotten burnt before due to the sun because that was part of the curse. 